Hi, I'm Shelley Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make this precious little Easter egg print skirt which will fit 5 inch to 6 inch dolls like this mini Elsa doll, Mattel's Chelsea and there are others. Before we begin please go to my website Shellywood.com to download this free PDF sewing pattern. Use the longer of the two skirt patterns to cut out a rectangle of tiny print cotton fabric. It doesn't have to be Easter eggs. And hem the long edge by folding once and then a second time. Whip stitch along the hem's edge or just use a sewing machine to sew from one end of the hem to the other. But personally I like to use a whip stitch. Sewing machines work okay though. Next create a casing opposite the hem. Again fold the edge of the fabric once and then a second time but for your casing you'll want that second fold to be a little deeper just like you see here. Now there are casing lines on the pattern that are designed to guide you for this. I like to use the whip stitch along the bottom of my casing especially rather than using a sewing machine because with the casing you want to keep your stitches very close to the fold right along that edge. Sewing machines can kind of go off the edge a little. Now your skirt should look like this. Okay measure your doll's waist for elastic. This is a little bigger doll. Cut the elastic to fit with a slight overlap. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic. Send the elastic through the casing. Now please note how I've used a straight pin to hold the elastic in place on both sides of my skirt. You'll want to do that too. Okay so here I am inserting my safety pin. And it can be tricky to get it started but once you get it in there you want to watch for when your elastic comes to the edge. That's when you need to insert a safety pin all the way through the elastic. Give the elastic a tug to make sure the safety pin is all the way through. When you get to the other end again you want to give yourself a little bit of extra and then stick that, that straight pin back through the elastic and then detach your safety pin. Now fold your skirt in half and sew across the elastic two or three times before you go down to the hem. Remove the pins and invert the skirt like you see me doing right here. Such a cute little skirt. Now you're ready to try your skirt on a doll. For more free printable sewing patterns that will fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website ShellyWood.com Have you ever thought of a brilliant idea for making doll clothes but you just didn't know enough about how to design your own patterns? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer and I have a real gift for designing doll clothes that I'd like to share with you. In my Creative Spark class, How to Alter Doll Clothes Patterns, I'll introduce you to the basics of doll clothes pattern designs. You will learn how to alter patterns that you already own, how to lengthen and shorten a pants pattern, and how to turn pants into shorts. You'll also learn how to make a skirt more full or less full and how the fullness of a dress's skirt can affect the fit of a bodice. You'll learn how to design your own waistband for skirts using your doll's measurements. But the real gem of my class is my resizing formula. And trust me, you don't have to be a math whiz to learn how to resize your doll clothes patterns. 
My formula can be used to make your patterns larger or smaller, depending on what you need. Whether you want to save money on the cost of buying commercial doll clothes patterns, or maybe you're sewing for a doll that you just can't find any patterns for, how to alter doll clothes patterns will help you design a wardrobe that will fit dolls of any shape or size.